Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. I'm Robert Sykes, aka Keto Savage. I am Crystal Sykes, aka The Lady Savage. And just want to give a quick and amazing shout out to Sahil. We truly appreciate you giving us the opportunity to jump on your channel and cook up something. We are by no means chefs by any stretch of the imagination, but we do like to eat. So, yes. what are we making today, Crystal? Today, we are making a creamy chicken soup. It is one of my favorite things that my aunt used to make when I was younger and it wasn't keto at that time. There was like potatoes and all the stuff in it, but we are going to try and make it a keto style. Awesome. What do I do? Typically, we, do we, have, do? we have a keto savage kitchen on the website and she typically comes up with all the recipes and I'm just the grunt that mixes things. That's true. So, okay. what do we got? So everything that we're going to do is in this pot other than the bacon. So I guess we can kind of go over what we have here and then we'll start the making. Alright, so we have an ounce of whatever type of oil you want to use. That is duck fat. We were going to use um, beef suet, you can use olive oil, whatever you prefer. This is two ounces of cream cheese. This is a half a cup of heavy cream. We have a few seasonings. You can really use whatever you want. We're using parsley, sage, uh, rosemary, and Redmond real salt. We have four cups of uh, bone broth. Again, you can use any kind. Homemade is best. We have one full onion, three cloves of garlic, one pound of chicken. Pound of bacon. A pound of bacon. You can use any type of chicken that you want, uh, breast, thigh, whatever you prefer. We have eight ounces of mushrooms and we have four... Four stalks of stalks celery. Stalks of celery, thank you. And these are not flowers, this is just a funny <laughs> Weird looking, looking mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay, so the first thing what we're going to do is turn on our little heater here. Alright, and then we're going to put the whatever type of oil you're going to use. You want to do it? Yeah, let me do it. <laughs> this is my moment to shine right here, y'all. We're going to pour that right into the pan or pot or whatever you, you are using. And then we're going to let that warm up a bit. And then we're going to add all of the vegetables. We're going to let them kind of simmer in here and get all the flavorful flavors going. And then we're going to add some more stuff to it. So we're going to let that kind of like saute for just a moment and then we'll adjust. Put this in there? Sure. Go ahead and put the other ones in there. She's like beautiful. I really like the bulk amount of mushrooms that are in here. That's gonna take place of any like potatoes or anything like that that you would normally have as bulk in your soup. I really, really enjoy that. Quick disclaimer: again, we are not chefs by any stretch of the imagination. Typically, we're both bodybuilders by trade. I'm a natural pro bodybuilder, Crystal's competed as well. We generally make meals that are incredibly efficient, easy, simple, yes. and to the point, because we're tracking all of our macronutrients all the time. So when we make a recipe, we try to optimize for nutrient density while also making it super simple. Typically we just do it like grass-fed ground beef, eggs, and a keto brick. So we're getting a little frisky with this one here. Yeah. But I'm excited. It's fun, it's fun it's every once in a while to just like change it up. And it's like the perfect time of year. It is getting cold here in Arkansas as far as cold yeah. in Arkansas goes. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we just want these guys to get a little bit softer and saute them. They are going to sit with the chicken while the chicken cooks in here for a little while. So every all the flavors are really going to blend together really well when that chicken is sitting in here. I wish we had a super cool accent, like Sahel, who can say things and it'd be cooler. You have a cute southern accent. Oh, it's super cute, huh? I don't have one. Super savage, not super cute. Super savage. Are we going to cook this just yeah, while we'll it's cook, cooking? Or? We'll just cook that while this is si like simmering. simmering. Yeah. Gotcha. Let me go ahead and put it on a baking sheet. Sure. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, 
And depending on how soupy you like it, you can add uh, more bone broth, you can add more water, whatever you want the outcome to be. If you like it super thick, um, then just leave it with less. If you like it to be a little bit more watery or liquidy, I guess, then just add some more water or some broth and you'll be good to go. Viscous or less viscous? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and start the oven. Uh, if you'd like. What temperature? I, I just normally bro like broil them. Broil? Mm -hmm. Alright. Another quick, interesting, fun fact, y'all. We don't have a house. We're living in a warehouse. So our kitchen is super janky. We have a little mini oven, which is what we're using. Works great. Alright, so now that I have all of the broth and everything in there, I am going to uh, add some seasonings in there. And we're going to add lots of... Oh, this is a really thick one. I like that one. You don't like this that one? This one? Oh, not that one. Yeah. That was, that was like crystals. This is the one I wanted. We like lots of salt. And... This, this one is the sage. Rosemary and parsley. Just add it, you know, just however you however you personally enjoy, how, however seasoned you like it. Some hot sauce sure. in there. Open some all the way. Sorry? You could put some hot sauce in there, but I just like mine really creamy and salty. I love the smell of rosemary. That's pretty good. Makes me think of a lamb dish. Mm, yeah. But you don't like lamb. I like lamb. All right, so I'm gonna mix these guys together. Mine might need a little bit of water, um, just because I do like mine a little bit more soupy, but I'm gonna let it sit for just a little bit with the chicken in it and see how much uh, the how liquid, liquidy it is after just a little bit of time. So go ahead and... Add this in? Yeah, just, we'll just do it slowly. Well, that was my favorite part. I was so excited to do that. It's like my one claim to fame right so there. So sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, so now you do want this chicken to cook all the way. So it is gonna take a little bit of time. Um, so just come back, check on it, stir it every once in a while. It's probably gonna take about 20 minutes to cook perfect timing to get the dinner table set and uh, so we're just gonna hold off on that for a moment while the bacon is cooking in the oven. We're using an induction burner at 330 degrees but that may not carry over to whatever cooktop you're using. Horns up, we are back. We got our bacon. It has been broiled or baked, cut up into small little bitty pieces. That's ready to rumble. It's been on there for 20 minutes. Simmer. Yep. And I just turned it down, the temperature down on there, and it smells so good. Delicious. I am so excited about it. And so now that that is ready, we, we can go ahead and put the cream cheese in. And this is what, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And we're going to put that in. We're gonna, this is what's going to make it real nice and creamy. And then we're going to add in the heavy cream. I'm gonna put this in right now. Uh, we're just gonna melt down the cream cheese all the way first. It does look mighty delicious. Mm -hmm. You can keep stirring. But the macros for this are 126 grams of fat, 186 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, which gives us a total of 2,078 calories, and it gives us a ratio of 55% fat. 36% uh, protein and 9% carbs. That is for the entire batch. Yes. So you can subdivide it however many servings you want out of that. Mm -hmm. I like to do all the macros based off a full batch and then we can eat that whole thing tonight. Uh, we might, yeah. We might. Can I put this in now? Yeah. Super excited about this. I'm sure. Yeah. Careful with that. Boom, chicka boom. Now, you guys can make this as creamy as you want. 
You can make it as fatty as you want. You can add more fat, you can add more vegetables, you can add more meat. Whatever suits your fancy, makes your Personal. heart happy. Yeah, you can adjust it however you'd like. And it'll thicken up as it cools. So mm -hmm. if you prefer a thicker soup, Yep. then just let it cool for a little bit longer yep you can also not put as much uh, bone broth in it if, if that is also how you like it. if you like it super super thick so we can go ahead and actually put it on that yeah all right I don't want to stir it after we put the bacon on top. Right, bacon so looks just hold, hold, hold on. I, I want it to. I want it just to like sit and thicken a little bit, so we can put the lid on here. So while we're letting this cool a little bit, um, Sahil was kind enough to say we can take a few moments and talk about us, our story, where you can find us. Um, so Robert Sykes, Crystal Sykes. Keto Savage is pretty much my website, ketosavage.com. That was my Instagram, at Keto Savage, but that just randomly got deleted this week for whatever reason. So now it's Live Savage, at Live Savage on Instagram. Um, Mine is at the.lady.savage. The.lady.savage. We also have a podcast, it's the, the Keto Savage Podcast. Um, that's also linked down on the ketosavage.com website. And we have a Keto Brick, which is a 1,000 calorie ketogenic meal replacement bar that we fabricated during my 2017 competition prep. We're super proud of it. We have an amazing team. And it's just it's just cool to be able to provide something of value to the community. Just ready again? I'm super hungry. <laughs> Robert's been starving this entire time, so. It, I would like it to thicken up a little bit more, but since Robert is in such a rush, I guess we'll have it less thick tonight. But you can top it off however you want. You can put bacon on it. You can put shredded cheese or whatever you'd like. That might just, yeah, it's going to fall because we didn't it's let it sink. Yeah. The picture might not be but, as good because mm. it's not thickened. But it's gonna taste good. Just pour it right, like right there in the middle in the little pile. But you can also put the bacon in as you are cooking the chicken. I just like my bacon really crispy when I eat it, so I like to wait till the end to add it in. Just try and fluff it up there. Um, but it looks really delicious. I'm really excited to dig in. Right, can we dig in? Yeah. It's gonna be too hot to eat. Oh, not if you blow on it. What's what you? Anticipating the verdict to be. Okay, I got a little bit of everything in here. Oops. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yes, I love it. I do like mine a little bit more creamy and a little bit more thick, so I think if we just let this sit for a little while um, and maybe slightly added a little bit more cream, it would be like perfection to, to my perfection. But um, yeah, that's delicious. I guess I should hold off to have some more. That's really good. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat the whole thing tonight. We're gonna spread this whole thing yeah, tonight. Yeah, he's not gonna <laughs> eat the whole thing. I'm gonna have some. So, <laughs> real quick to recap, thank you so, so, so much, yes, Sahil, for letting you. us jump on your YouTube channel. That's incredibly gracious of you, mm -hmm. um, incredibly thoughtful. You've got a massive platform, an awesome audience, and to let other people come in and collaborate with you means a lot. Means a lot. So thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you like this and it tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. It and, does taste um, pretty good. I think it tastes pretty good. <laughs> so we'll see you all around and um, take care. Horns, horns up. Horns up, folks, and how good does that soup look? I don't know about you, but I could definitely not finish that soup in even two sittings. I mean at 2000 calories, that's at least four meals for me. But do you think you could finish the entire pot? Let me know in the comments below. And please do smash that like button so that Robert and Crystal know just how much we like that recipe and how much we appreciate having them here on Headbangers Kitchen. And in case you didn't know, this is Headbangers Kitchen. It's my heavy metal cooking show that's keto all the way. And we do lots of keto recipes on this channel. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notifications. Anyway, Robert and Crystal, thank you so much. Everyone, please go and check out Keto Savage on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. 
and you know what i'll see you on the next episode of headbangers kitchen cheers and keep cooking hey folks click here and subscribe to keto savages youtube channel or click here and check out one of their videos also let me know in the comments if there are any other keto youtubers you think i should be collaborating with